For yeah. sure, I'm ready to do whatever you know they want me to do. Uh, you know, I feel good, feel fine, 100%. So, uh, just ready to go and get started this week. Jalen Samuels did not play Monday night against the Dolphins, but as you just heard, he's ready to go for this Sunday against the Colts at Heinz Field. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Steelers Live. A lot of injuries to go over, so let's jump right to the practice report. It is a short week for the Steelers, and Coach Tomlin warned on Tuesday there would be a lot of guys limited in the early portions of the week. But as you can see from the did not practice list, James Conner, Ramon Foster, Daniel McCullers, Marquise Pouncey, Betty Snell, Mark Barron, and Vance McDonald. Limited today, Ulysses Gilbert, he missed the game on Monday. And Jalen Samuels, who you just heard from, he was a full participant. Jalen and Coach Tomlin reiterated last week he was a full participant the whole time. He could have played on Monday night, but they chose to hold him out. And it seems that his availability is coming at the right time for the Steelers with James Connor and Benny Snell both dealing with injuries and both not practicing on Wednesday. We'll have to stay tuned throughout the rest of the week. Either way, Jalen Samuel says he's ready to step up. If that's if that's the you know if that's the case, if that's what I gotta do, then that's what I gotta do. Uh, so you know we got the depth in the running back room, you know, to handle you know the situations that we're going through. So you know I believe in everybody, I believe in this team, the O line, the running backs, and the coaches. So uh, we all just believe in each other and execute. We'll be good. Have you see more from the offensive line these last couple games? Look like they were open. Oh yeah, definitely. You know. You, the 10-yard runs has definitely been expanding. Uh, O-line been doing their job, executing, and, uh, you know, it's for them to do their job, but it's also for us to put the ball where it got to be. So, uh, you know, it's a team effort. And, uh, we just got to go out there and execute every Sunday. Trey Edmonds is also a running back on the Steelers' 53-man roster. They also made a practice squad move today to help with some depth at the running back position. They signed Darren Hull, who was with the Pitt Panthers in college, and released tight end Kevin Rader. So another running back on the practice squad to help get through the week with some guys missing time in the early portions of the week. The 5-2 and two Colts are coming to town, and Coach Tomlin said this is a good chance for the Steelers to continue stacking wins, something they did for the first time this season by winning on Monday night. Got an opportunity to move to 500, man, at the turn. And, and to, to be able to say that with where we've, we've come from over the course of this journey, I think is significant. Uh, by no means are we throwing a pep rally, um, but we're in the midst of a fight and one that, you know, we kind of got it moving in the right direction. And so it makes this week a really big one. All right, and just to recap, here is a look at the Steelers' second half of the season. Of course, two home games on tap next, the Colts and then the Rams, but then a three-game stretch against AFC North teams, and we know how important that is in terms of hopefully making it to the playoffs for the Steelers, the AFC North, not the division, the tough division that it usually is as this at this point, but that is good for the Steelers. A congratulations today to running back James Conner, who was named the AFC Offensive Player of the week for his performance against the Dolphins on Monday night. 23 carries for 145 yards and one touchdown. Of course, as we said, James did not practice today. We will stay tuned. He is dealing with that shoulder injury. He was not able to finish the game on Monday night. That's going to do it for this edition of Steelers Live. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll be back here tomorrow at 4 p.m. Have a great night, everybody.